So for the study, one unique element is that we used aerosol instrumentation that can track the biological particles in real time using laser-induced fluorescence. And that's one of the instruments we have in my lab here at Purdue University. And it's a very interesting instrument that it gives us very high time and size resolved data of biological particles in the air. And this is very valuable for exposure, uh, for predicting lung deposition, and the, just the overall airborne dynamics of these particles. And we also worked with a microbiology group in Finland at the National Institute for Health and Welfare. And they analyzed particles we collected on a filter for the microbial material. So they used different techniques that told us specifically how many bacterial cells uh, were captured by the filter, how many are in the air per unit volume, and how many are in the carpet dust, and what species are present. So we, we really took a tandem approach where we had really nice uh, transient data, the biological particles in the breathing zone of the infant and the adult, but we also had this offline data where we had the actual number of bacterial cells that were in the air, in the carpet, fungal cells, and the species that were present.